All right, so here is our first practice drawing for one point perspective. You're going to need a pencil, a piece of just plain nine by 12 um, paper, a ruler or something to use as a straight edge. I'm going to use this box of colored pencils and an eraser. So to start out, we are going to draw something called a horizon line. When you're outside, this represents where the sky meets the ground. If you're inside, this represents whatever is level with your eyes. If you were looking straight out, not up or down, but just straight out. So sometimes it's also called the eye level line. So draw that across your paper. Next, you're gonna make a little dot in the middle of that line. This is the most important part of your project. It is called a vanishing point. And it represents the spot where things get so far away from your eyes that you can't see them anymore. You know how as things get further away, they tend to look smaller and smaller and smaller as they get further in the distance. And then eventually, so far away that you can't see them. Do they actually vanish? Nope, they don't actually vanish, but it's an optical illusion um, that helps our eyes to see distance. So that's what that dot represents. So next, I want you to draw with your ruler or your straight edge, a square or rectangle somewhere below the horizon line, anywhere below. And just a medium size, not super tiny, not super huge. And make sure you get the lines nice and straight by using your ruler or your straight edge. Next, we're going to be trying to make this flat looking square look more three dimensional, like a box or a cube. So to do that, for one point perspective, we have to use this vanishing point. This is the most important thing on our paper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the corner of our rectangle. We are going to put our straight edge right against our pencil there and rotate it until it's touching the corner and the dot. So it's kind of like connect the dots. We're gonna lightly connect these two with a line. So let's see how it goes from the corner to the vanishing point. Next, we're going to do the same thing to the next corner. So we're gonna find our corner with our pencil, put our straight edge there and rotate it till it gets to the dot and then lightly connect them. So it has to go from the corner to the vanishing point every single time. Next corner, same thing. To the vanishing point, okay? Now this corner is a little different because if we drew this one, see how it would go through the rectangle? We wouldn't see that if this rectangle was um, just a solid box it's not glass or clear, transparent. Um, so we're just gonna not draw it if it goes through the original shape, okay? Lastly, to finish the box, we need to use something called a right angle or a 90 degree angle. So that's kind of like a letter L. Okay, the straight up and down vertical line, a straight across horizontal line. They have to meet at that 90 degree angle or right angle. You cannot have an acute angle that's like this or an obtuse angle that's like this. These are unacceptable, has to be a right angle, okay? So that's important for this next step. And the next step is just to make it so our box isn't going on forever and ever and ever back to that vanishing point. We wanna kind of cut off the back end of that box. So what we're gonna do is see this top triangle here? See how that top triangle is connected to the top of this rectangle? They share this line right here, triangle and the rectangle, they both share this line. I'm gonna line my straight edge with this top edge of my rectangle, and I'm gonna slide it straight up, keeping it parallel to that. We don't want it to get crooked like this or crooked like this. We wanna go straight up parallel to that line. And then inside of this triangle here, I'm gonna draw a line that's parallel to that one. Okay, see how it's only inside of this triangle? It's not going any further. See the second triangle we created here? It's sharing this line with the rectangle. And that line is vertical, straight up and down. So we're gonna put our straight edge on that line and slide it straight over. And we're gonna stop when we get to the end of the line we just drew up here, okay? And then we wanna make sure this is parallel to this. And we're gonna draw a line that goes straight down inside of that triangle, okay? See how these two meet at a 90 degree angle? just like these two meet at a 90 degree angle. We want these to be little twinsies, okay? We want them to look the same as each other. Last thing we're gonna do is erase these lines that go past that 90 degree angle we just drew. We don't need those anymore. And you can see we made a cube, okay? We are going to do that again on top of 
the horizon line. See how this one goes overlapping on top of that horizon line? Make another square or rectangle using your ruler or straight edge. Connect the corners to that vanishing point lightly so you can erase them then if you need to. Should I do this one? Nope, that would go through the original shape, right? So I don't need to do that one. Should I do this one? Nope, that would also go through that original shape, so I don't need to do that one, okay? Now this only has one triangle. If you ignore the horizon line, there's just one triangle there, and it's touching this side of the rectangle. See how that's a rectangle side and that's a triangle side? So I'm gonna line my ruler up with that, slide it straight over, keeping it parallel, and inside that triangle, I'm gonna draw a line that matches that one, they're twinsies. And anything that goes past that line, I'm going to erase. And that one's a little different. We don't get a right angle because if it's on the horizon line, we can't really see the top of the box or the bottom of the box. We can only see the side and the front from our perspective, okay? Inside of the shape, you can erase the horizon line because remember, our shapes are gonna be solid and not see-through, okay? Last one we're gonna draw is up here above the horizon line. So again, use your ruler or straight edge to draw a really nice medium-sized rectangle or square. Lightly connect those corners to the vanishing point. Oop, can't do that one because it goes through the original shape, right? Get rid of that. And then I need to finish it off. So here I have a triangle. It's sharing this side with the rectangle. So I'm gonna put my straight edge there, slide it over however far I want. And inside of that triangle, I'm gonna draw a line that's parallel to this one. See how those two are parallel to each other, straight up and down. And then this triangle is sharing this line with a square. So I'll line my ruler up with that, slide it straight down until it touches where I ended this line that I just drew and draw a line that's parallel to that one. And again, see how they make that right angle, just like these two. And then I can erase anything that goes past that. Okay, and that's it. That's what I would like you to do for your first practice drawing for One Point Perspective. If you need any help or have any questions, feel free to email me. Good luck.